to many of us, 70 years ago is ancient history. But to those who survived it or had a loved one in it, the Bataan Death March can never be forgotten. There were about 1,800 New Mexico soldiers among the 78,000 Americans and Filipinos forced by the Japanese to march a 65-mile route. Weak, sick, denied food, water, medical treatment, some stabbed or bayoneted. The Bataan Corregidor Memorial Foundation of New Mexico says 41 death march survivors who served with New Mexico's National Guard and Coast Guard artillery regiments are still living, 20 of them in New Mexico. There are also five survivors from other states living here. This weekend, the Bataan Death March and the men who made it are being remembered today at 1 o'clock at the Bataan Memorial Park, located on the north side of Lomas, just west of Carlisle. The 12 granite columns at the park bear the names and the stories of the men who served with two New Mexico regiments. The stories of the New Mexico's D Bataan Death March survivors are being preserved in the Library of Congress. A number of survivors were interviewed last year for a PBS program, Bataan, a 70th anniversary commemoration. New Mexico U.S. Senator Tom Udall and the Oasis Veterans History Project got that footage to Washington and to the Library of Congress, where it will be preserved, archived, and shared for generations to come.